people start hearing about roller derby and they get really excited. thinking, how am I going to do this? Where else do you see something like that? Where the girls are just flying everywhere and wearing fishnets and you can drink beer while you watch. And... Yes, yes, yes! I am Malia Droll. I am a police officer for Coralville. Wake up, get my kids fed and off to daycare, and then I come to work. Um, and then as soon as I'm off work, I'm picking the kids up and feeding them supper and getting them to bed and... Uh, 1057. 1057 means hit and run. Yeah. And not yeah, yeah. Home, but uh, my derby name is Fonda Cuffs. I started derby in November of 2008 when the Iowa City team, the Old Capital City Roller Girls, was founded. I was at the very first practice. There were like five of us there. And out of those five, maybe six, um, there's only there's three of us that are still doing derby. Look at us now. How many of us are there? 30? Yeah. So that's great. It should be alright, but like I said, that's experimental, so I don't really know what the archival level is going to be. Uh, Derby infiltrates my whole life, actually. <laughs> it's hard to get away from. Um, my life is like pretty much a stack of pancakes from morning till night at work from about 8.30 till 2.30 every day. So with the exception of Wednesday night and Sunday nights, I get to go to derby practice. My name is Hitsy Blonde and I coach the new girls, which we call Fresh Meat. And that's actually probably my biggest passion besides playing derby is coaching the new girls because I love it because it's so it's like teaching for me. I came the last um, the last Sunday of October, so that was probably like their maybe third practice or something like that. And I got jumped right in the drill. There was no fresh meat coaching. There was no like, hey, baby step, teach you how to do anything. It was like you just did, and you had to keep up. It was it was sink or swim. And it was a lot of work, you know. You get all these girls together that don't, that may or may not have a whole lot of business experience, but that's exactly what you're doing is you're building a business. So it took it took a long while. It took about a year to really get some kind of a structure or organization to the team. <laughs> it's, it's on. I am batter up and. I coach the vet skaters, which are skaters that have been um, in one or more bouts. There was no real, like, I didn't step up and say, hey, I want to be the coach. It was more of something that was left in my lap to pick up the pieces. So practices usually consist of, we'll start off with a little bit of warm-up. We'll do a brief, what sometimes turns into a little longer, uh, like intro circle. So that's important information, news, etc. And then we dive into an endurance drill. Usually try to do skill drills. 
so like some hitting, some blocking, footwork, different kinds of skills that will help us on the track. We'll either end with a game or a swimming. And we also learn how to fall. If you feel yourself falling, you want to fall so that you can control it. You've got to be strong mentally as well as physically because this is definitely a sport where you're going to be pushing the bar and you're going to have to be falling down repeatedly and getting up. You show up, you start playing, you get stronger, you get better, and um, you just hope for the best as far as injuries go. Um, we're protected. Our joints are protected by pads, knee pads, elbow pads, wrist guards, mouth guard, helmet. Um, and that does help when you fall, but there's, the cement's still hard. I had to go into the chief's office on crutches. That was not cool. He said, what happened? And I said, I'll give you one guess. He goes, were there roller skates involved? I had been skating about 10, 11 months before I got hurt. I fell down at practice, the last practice before we had our winter break, and I tore my PCL in my left knee. And then I haven't been on skates since. I don't think I'll be able to go back to skates. So that's why I'm a bench coach now. I help make the lineups, and I help with some coaching at practice and some core training. Working out at, during rotary practice is just sound, is just fun, um, and it, that's not to say it's not hard. I mean, because we're sweating, we're tired. Sometimes you skate so hard you puke, but it's within the context of this bigger goal, and so it, it's a lot more manageable. It's a lot of hard work, and I don't think I do it on my own. But you know, when you're skating around the track and sweating with all your friends. Um, it, it doesn't even feel like you're exercising, so. Moonlight as a high school teacher and as a wrangler of small children. Uh, it's a little bit chaotic. There are lots of lots of small small children falling down. But really, that's right. Oh, I'm animal mother. I am a board member. Uh, I was elected by the rest of the team to serve as one of the five members of the board. We all have roles on the board. Um, I'm in charge of sponsorship and fundraising and charity. It appears that the Coldstone Creamery has been hijacked by a bunch of really sexy ladies that are doing it. It appears that they're still serving the ice cream, but doing so in a manner that would imply that they also like skating around in a circle and knocking each other down. There's definitely more to roller derby than just hitting. The same size requirements remain, which is a four inch number. It's, it's a grassroots organization, so everything we do is what we make. So we're all, like all of our hands are making everything happen. So every single bout from the empty space at the Marriott to 
seconds before the doors are open. First you need people to set up 600 chairs. Okay, and then you need people to work the merch table, people to work the door, security, preferably big people. You need NSOs, non-skating officials, lots of those. Um, lots of refs. Bench coaches, people to work the penalty box, announcers, halftime entertainment, somebody to run the scoreboard, the after party, that's, I think, it. And, oh, and the skaters. Yes. There's a bunch of little things, but me personally, I get really, really excited, and I like to make the lineups, and... I definitely spend a lot of time thinking about my outfit. Outfits. Outfits. Oh, those are fun. Outfits are the outfits that we wear to bouts. Outfits. You know, each one of us has a derby name, and so part of that persona, which is a part of me, comes out in that alias. It's fun because you can dress like crazy, like you wouldn't normally dress. Um, like the things I wear to Derby and to my outfit I would not wear in real life. You know, there's the clothes that Malia Droll wears and there's the clothes that Fonda Cuffs wears. And I have a whole drawer devoted to Fonda Cuffs. Nobody has to tell you what you have to be like in roller derby. You are who you want to be in roller derby and that's why I just can't get enough outfits. <laughs> I forgot my bat, damn it! So I'm gonna use this. Oh, but I definitely like to be at as many practices as I can before the bout because I like to pay attention as to how people are skating and how they're skating with each other and trying different people in new positions. this like 4,000 million times, but... It's flat track, it's not banked, it's not your grandma's roller derby. Four girls from each team line up on one line. Okay, and the pivots wear a striped helmet cover, and they are the first two girls on the line. So to start the jam, you have a whistle. And then one girl from each team lines up on the other. There's two whistles. Tweet, tweet. So there's four girls that are trying to prevent her from, from getting through, and there's four girls that are trying to help her get through. Actually, all four of the blockers up front on both sides are playing offense and defense at the same time. And Jamers, they can probably get hit the most because they're trying to be kept back. 
first jammer that gets through the pack legally the first time is the lead jammer. Now on their second pass through the pack, that's a scoring pass. After the first pass through, they score points for each girl on the opposing team they have. A lot of times in a two minute jam, they can get through three, four, or more times, depending on how it's going. Points is how you win the game. Or should I be told? If you are a lead jammer, you have the power to call off the jam at any time. And the jam is the, is the short session within the period. And it can, the longest it can last is two minutes. The four whistles are blown and that's the end of that jam. We are in soon, it. So. Yeah. You all love me so much then. It's a sisterhood, I think is the, the best way to describe it. And it's not just a sisterhood among your own team, it's a sisterhood with other derby leagues. We're all in it for the same thing, to have fun and to kind of show that, you know, women can be athletic and cute at the same time. <laughs> interesting, you know, because what what happens when you join a roller derby team is you're like, oh, exercise, you know, lady friends. This is this is cool. Like I bet I'll I bet I might see these ladies at the grocery store or something. You know, it's kind of like the first day of school, a little bit. You're not sure what to expect. Am I going to fit in? Is this going to work out? And then one day you wake up and you realize that the last 10 people you called because you had a bad breakup or a good first date are all derby girls. And then you realize that you are not just in a sport and you are not just, you don't just have a crazy hobby. You, in fact, have a new family. Show them your ass, ladies! Get up! That's right! Get up! Get up! Get up! Show them your ass! The future of Derby? Hmm. I think the future of Derby looks very promising for us, I think, for sure. Because we're kind of a big deal. And we're kind of getting to be a bigger deal. Every year it gets bigger and bigger and the, our team's been around a little over a year and there's already three new teams in Iowa that I've heard of. That's a huge deal because we started off, when I started off I think there were four or five teams and now there's maybe almost like eight to nine. It will never go away. It's definitely back to stay and it will keep growing. Okay, now like span the, the whole width of the, so you're like single file. There you go. This is me being bossy. Oh, I think I did this wrong. Okay, that's, okay, that's good. I think I got it. I think. Thank you.